Hey YouTube, we are looking at a second week of Great League Remix and an Open Master League. So last week was also a Great League Remix, which I think a lot of people play Great League Remix anyways. And now you have Open Master League, which you're going to see a rant this afternoon about inaccessibility there. So stay tuned for that. But um, second week of Great League Remix, which is not the worst because I'm actually having a lot of fun with this meta. Uh, I am up about 350 ELO since it started. I'm at expert rank. Um, so now it's... What I'm going to do here is there's rankings and then there's my rankings. And if you will see my video yesterday, if you watched it, May Cargo, which you're going to see top team here, May Cargo is ranked 410, but I dominated with it. Um, and it's just because the meta is very, very limited here. So we're going to go over the limited meta of how it works, what you're seeing, and then um, what teams you can use that I use successfully to, to counter that. So right now in this meta, I am seeing four to maybe five things if you want to count water but some of these waters i'm counting as like mantine as a flyer and and, and plan as a steel so let's just start with the steels because there are three four pokemon running wild in this meta and that is empoleon steelix magnezone and ferrothorn so those are your four steels now why are four steels running random wild i think there's a couple reasons i think one is you're going to see next there's a lot of flyers why is there a lot of flyers because other steels like bastidon galarian stunfisk skarmory are all banned so when those are all banned flyers have a better chance so with flyers <laughs> everywhere um that that makes fighters less um which means steels hello kind of have a nice advantage here so empoleon steelix magnezone and ferrothorn are everywhere i think all four are very 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 meta and very strong um out of these four it, it's so funny because ferrothorn's ranked the worst i honestly think steelix is probably my number one and ferrothorn is probably my number two ferrothorn has the bulk and you have that nice coverage because one of the other things i'm going to talk about is there's flyers but there's also water pokemon um so you get that and then um you're half steel, half grass, so you're neutral to flyers. Then you have the thunder if you want that for the flyers and grass for the fight, grass for that. So it's, it's a nice combo there. So steels are everywhere. Let's just go to flying because flying is the next obvious one. As I mentioned, a lot of stuff that would beat flyers is banned. So that's why you're seeing hello lot in the top 20. Um, I wouldn't even talk about top 20. I'm talking about top 14 because there's really Mantine, Mandibuzz, Gligar, Pelipper, yeah top 12 <laughs> that's it that is the main meta gold bat i have not seen dragon i've seen like one or two and have i used tropius and it wasn't amazing so that yeah basically that's it mantine mandibus gligar pelipper i would say that order is accurate and i would say that the rankings really show you the difference between mantine and mandibus and gligar versus pelipper it truly is those three account for like 95% of the flyers, Mantine, Mandibus, Gligar. They are everywhere. Um, Mantine is the number one. It says Ice Beam here. A lot of people are using Water Pulse because of um, a bunch of the steels. Um, not steels. Yeah, yeah, because of the steels. Ice Beam would be resisted by steel. Water is at least neutral in some of these steels. Like um, like on like Steelix, it, you'd hit super effective with water. So a lot of people are using Water Pulse on Mantine. Uh, plus in uh, and then Mandibuzz and Gligar both, again, kind of play different roles. Mandibuzz very, very bulky. Gligar very, very spammy. Um, and good coverage with the dig in case you do see some steals. Um, that's the second one I want to talk about. The third one I'll talk about is water. Because, again, water has been dominating the meta in the open all season. So it's not surprising that it's also dom dominating a limited meta. And again, some of these things on this list, Empoleon I've already talked about, Mantine I've already talked about, Pelipper I've already talked about. Uh, the ones I want to focus on primarily are Feraligator and Quagsire. Um, and those two are, I'd say, gel I, you're not seeing a lot of gel sense. I use gel sense, it was very, very strong. Um, so those two primarily, Feraligator and, and Quagsire are everywhere. They're the best two waters. They're both very, very spammy. Um, they both have coverage for flyers, right? Ice Beam and Stone Edge as your coverage for flyers. So both are very, very, very strong in this meta. Both are pretty meta. Both are meta in the open. So it's not surprising that they are also meta here. So that's three. The fourth one is fighters. And really there's two. 
Um, and it's Annihilate and Polyrath. And again, that should not be surprising. I don't know why Scrafty and Gallade are ranked higher than those two. Um, it's not, that's not practical. Like Annihilate and Polyrath are the number one and number two in this meta as fighters. Um, and again, there are, why they're slightly lower is because there is a lot of flying. But like I said, there is a lot of steel and they do okay in neutral against, um, against water Pokemon. And so like great against steel, neutral against water, bad against flying. So all in all, you're getting sort of like a little triangle here, right? Fighters beat the steel, steels beat the flyers, flyers beat the fighting. Um, water kind of fits in the middle, can kind of deal with some, not with others. Um, so that's fourth. The fifth one, I don't know if there's a fifth one that I want to particularly focus on. Because the fifth one is basically, there's kind of a fifth one and then there's kind of the, I want to bulk them to the rest. So the fifth one that I would suggest is is Ice. Um, and in particular, I would suggest Walrein and Dugong. Dugong has been also used as a safe swap everywhere. Um, so Dugong safe swap, Walrein can also play the safe swap role. I have it actually a double ice team, which you'll see in one second. So I think Ice, again, with all the flyers, um, has a lot of play in this meta. Plus both of these Ice have ground type moves where you can hit super effective against steals. So that's what makes them nice as well. So that's it. Um, you can kind of say like the, the last one is a catch-all about these other Pokemon that are on this list that you are seeing that really don't fit into a category per se. Those ones would be yeah, Fairy. Like I see Carbink and Ninetales, like those two are everywhere. So you got some fairies there in Carbink and Ninetales. You have some dragons, um, Guzzlord, Gudra, Dragonair. I've seen a few of there. Um, Cresselia I haven't seen a ton of, but Cresselia is another option for like a safe swap. Um, that's basically it, honestly. I use Togedemaru, but Magnazone is most, uh, a lot of people are just using Magnazone instead. And that's it. You're, once you get down to like superior, a decent amount. Like if you want the grass, superior is like really superior. Tropius are like your only main options for grass here. That's it. That is the meta. So, how do you build teams to deal with that meta? So what I'm gonna take you from my start to my progression of teams. I like my initial thought process behind it, and then how I countered it, and then how I went to eventually make cargo. Jealous and Core, which has been really, really, really strong for me. So I started with Togedemaru Double Flyer, which is so funny. Just showcased on Zayak's channel a couple days ago on Tuesday. I saw Togedemaru in, in this thing and I'm like, yeah, Togedemaru, I love it. Let's go watch it. And I'm like, Togedemaru and Gligar Mandibuzz. Like, I've seen that team before. It's the first team I put out on Saturday. So um, the thought process was try and draw out like an ice. Like the thought process was Token Mario's weak to fighting and try and draw out an ice. Um, Wild Charge and Bail. Get into your flyers. Mandibus or Gligar. Both are pretty good. Um, both pretty decent safe swaps in this meta. Um, and then draw out um, like an electric or draw out an ice. And then your Token Mario should be able to handle it because most of the ice in this meta are, again, fairy or ice, which steel resist everything. And then the other one runs free. So that was the thought process behind that team. And then I countered it, <laughs> and then I countered that team and immediately with Annihilate Double Ice. And again, Walrein, Dugong as the Ice Pokemon, really, really safe, really strong in this meta. Uh, great coverage on your Flyers and then Annihilate as your best fighter, because there are a lot of steals. Kind of a trick of the trade here. You saw my Togedemar on the lead. You're going to see a Steelix team where it probably had Steelix on the lead and a Magnezone where she was also in the lead. And it seems to be the case for the majority of my opponents that I've seen as well. It seems like if you're running a Steel, you're running it on the lead. The majority of Onyx and Magnez Steelix, sorry, Steelix and Magnezones and Steels, Fairthorns that I've seen have been primarily on the lead. And I don't know if that's just like a, uh, like a conscious decision, like because Steels can get so beat by fighters or um, ground type Pokemon that you want them like out there immediately so that way if you see something you can switch into a safe swap so I think that's probably the reason so Annihilate double ice is essentially a counter to mine plus kind of the thought process of if you see a steel in the front it's probably weak to fighting so they probably have a nice in the back like a flyer in the back so you just counter it from that perspective 
Um, this one was one of my my uh, Go Battle Day ones. I start with Charm Nine Tails because I think that Charm Nine Tails has a really kind of unique play in this meta, right? Because just think about the 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 things that I talked about. Yes, you're going to be weak to Steel, but again, then there's the Fighters which you'll take out. There's Flyers which you do pretty well against the majority of them with Charm. There's the Water Pokemon which you do well against with Charm. So it's one of those you can just kind of take sh lose Shield advantage but take Switch. In that case, you then you have a very very bulky Wo Wobbuffet. Um, that was kind of, I saw someone use Wobbuffet Chansey against me, and I'm just like, oh, I hate you, but I want to try Wobbuffet now. So I tried it, um, and Gligar is your other sort of safe swap in the back. If you do see, like, a steal on the lead, you can safe swap into Gligar. And then, oh, I guess I have Steelix in the back here, and then I built around Electrode, because my thought process was Flyers, Water, Fighting. I can kind of just Wild Charge and Energy Ball almost any of those. And then you have Steelix and for Alligator, and both are, um, I probably already closed PV Poke, but both of you, if you go to the rankings for a Great League Remix and then you organize by switches, for Alligator and Steelix, I think are one and two uh, as safe swaps. They're both both very, very, very strong in this meta, very safe. I used Breaking Swipe and Psychic Fangs initially. I did switch that to, um, to Crunch just to get some coverage there. I've also seen it with Earthquake. I, I took an Earthquake against my May Cargo. The other day, I was just like, oh, that's rough. So speak about Make Our Go, let's talk about Fires, because I think that Fires are pretty underrated in this meta right now, because there are waters, obviously, like I, I mentioned. Um, I mentioned Fraligator, and I mentioned Quagsire, but there's a lot of steals, which you do super effective against. You do neutral against Flyers, most of them, except for like Manti and Pelper, and then neutral against um, Fighting. So this kind of gives you like nice coverage. And then, okay, if you're going to be weak to water and you're going to be weak to ground, um, Gelsons and Venusaur kind of cover those weaknesses. So those the back line was very much just covering the weaknesses there. Um, this one, I'm not going to spend too much time on this one because I actually have a better... Actually, why did I even put this? Because I think my next... Where's my... Is it at 8? Yeah. Let's ignore this one because I have a better answer for the back there, right there. This was a viewer-submitted team, um, Carbink and Dart tricks and hypno uh, it was one of those where like okay they actually did run to what was it veteran or expert or somewhere in between there with this team so i'm like okay let's give it a showcase um it was really interesting to see dark tricks in, in action and the stat products was way better than i expected it to be you are very 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 weak to steal here right you have confusion resisted rock throw and everything on carbon resisted um and grass is resisted by just pure steel too so it's kind of a eh, tricky team to run i would probably replace one of those probably the hypno with something that can deal with the steels if you're going to run this team okay the quagsire gligar combo again very it's a safe it's a safe combo and open right quagsire is just generally safe only weak to grass have a flyer to cover your grass the best flyer in my opinion is gligar because you have your steel coverage on top of that and then a little teams are going to be a little tough against ice in the back um, so Magnezone on the lead, um, you can Wild Charge and Bail, you can just figure out what you want to do. Two, Gligar is the safe swap, but Quagsire, there's not a ton of grass in this meta. There's not a ton of grass in this meta, so Quagsire is pretty free in the pack. Oh, do I not have the Megar Go team up yet? Okay, I'll, I'll talk about that in a second. This one was one that I, um, um, I called this the all nerf team. And it was essentially three Pokemon that can nerf Psychic Fangs on Giraffe. I it's not Dragon Claw. It's it's Breaking Swipe. I missed. I <laughs> in the video I even said like no, that's not right. I fixed it after. Uh, but Psychic Fangs, Steelix, and then Icy Wind, Polyrasso. Team did well, but again, you're kind of double weak to steals are a little tougher with Giraffe and Steelix. I don't have it here. Okay, but I do have it uploaded here. So I got two teams coming on Thursday. So they're already out. But I forgot to pull them. So the first one, they both have Meg Cargo on them. The first one was Meg Cargo, Gelsent, and Steelix. And the second one was Meg Cargo, Double Ghost, Sableye, and Jellicent. So I think that Meg Cargo, Jellicent combo works very, very, very well because Meg Cargo is weak to ground, it's weak to fighting, and it's weak to water. 
So Gelsent is going to handle pretty much all those. Um, the first time I, I used it with Steelix, just because Steelix is generally very, very safe in this meta. Like I said, one of the best safe swaps, so I put it in the back of the safe swap. The other one I used Double Ghost, Sableye, Gelsent, because there's not a lot of darks. There's Mandibas, right? Mandibas is, there is Guzzlord, but Mandibas is one of the only darks that I've like seen a lot of. So you have a lot of freedom with Double Ghost in the back um, with this meta. So, in fact... A team you're also going to see with another mech cargo instead of Jellicent as I use Kafa Grigas. And same sort of thing. Like, I think ghosts are kind of roaming free in this meta right now. Because there's not a lot of dark. Um, so that is... Maybe I'll use like a Jellicent Kafa Grigas line with mech cargo or something. I don't know. I'll see. Um, anyways, that is the teams in the meta. Like I said, stay tuned for a inaccessibility rant on Master League coming this afternoon. Uh, but I will have a few other teams um, in Great League Remix already done. So those will come forward this week and we'll try to keep pushing to Legend with just three, three weeks left. So let's push to Legend uh, hopefully this week. Anyways, that's it. Thanks for watching. See you guys on the next one.